Professional Golfers Association is pulling their 2022 championship from the Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey. We love you. You're very special. It became clear to us uh, that our brand uh, was, you know, at, at risk. EG of America is saying that golf is about inclusion. It's about a fair shake. It's about honesty. Trump organization firing back, saying it's invested millions in the championship and that this is a breach of a binding contract and they have no right to terminate this agreement. Golf legend Jack Nicholas once said, I think Trump loves the game of golf more than he loves money. Trump owns some of the world's top golf courses, so the suggestion that he's a cheat really irks him. It's absolutely false. I, I win at golf. I win at golf. But now, even at hosting golf, he is a loser. How does that saying go? I'm sorry, you're fired. Get out of here. And as golfers are duty bound to yell, Fire! 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 Incoming. President Trump is going crazy. The New York Times' Maggie Heberman reports he's angry about impeachment. People who have spoken to him say, but the reaction to the PGA decision was a different order of magnitude. That's right. Imagine Trump exploding a volcanic eruption over losing a golf tournament that is more intense than, say, losing the election, getting impeached, feeling betrayed by her own vice president. Talk about a psychopath. Oh, and it's about to get even worse. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. It's been clear for years that Donald Trump loves golf. It could be argued that he loves golf more than, say, his family, his wealth, certainly more than his job. Over the past four years, Mr. Trump has spent more than 300 days at one of his golf courses. And according to Golf Digest, he has played at least 240 rounds of golf over the past four years. Barack Obama, in his first term by comparison, played 113. So golf is a big deal, and hosting a tournament is an even bigger deal because it means television exposure, the world's greatest players literally on your own turf, and money. Never mind, of course, how it feeds your ego if you're a golf course owner. But now it's not just President Trump's New Jersey Golf Club that has been declared out of bounds. The president's golf course in Scotland is also now being stopped from hosting any international or UK tournaments. So think about it all this way. In November, the American people said, Mr. Trump, we don't want you anymore. Residents of Palm Beach, Florida are now saying, Mr. Trump, we don't want you anymore either. They're trying to block President Trump from living at Mar-a-Lago. Social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter have been dropping President Trump faster than a bad habit. Deutsche Bank and Signature Bank, the president's two favorites, have said they will no longer do business with Donald Trump. And now it's the president's beloved golf courses that are getting impeached. And remember, this is a president with an infamous temper, even though we've only seen glimpses of it in public. Which did one? you hear what me? Did you, want did you hear me? Yes, Ask sir. him a question. I, I will. But I've my... given you a long answer. Ask <laughs> this gentleman a question. Don't be rude. It all means that Donald Trump is going crazier than ever. His passions are being taken away. The PGA has told Donald Trump, kiss my putt. And Donald Trump now stands as the world's number one bogeyman.